Hi viewers, today's chapter is all about organ system. There are 12 organ systems. All of them I will explain one by one. If you like my video and new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon also. If you are my existing viewer, do like my video. Let's know about the levels of organization. The smallest unit is cell. Many cells combine together to form tissue. Many tissues combine together to form organs. Many organs combine together to form organ system. Many organ system combine together to form organism. There are 12 organ systems. The first is integumentary system, skeletal system, muscular system, nervous system, circulatory system, respiratory system, reproductive system, immune system, digestive system, excretory system, urinary system, and endocrine system. First, let us talk about integumentary system. It consists of hair, nail, skin, and glands. It forms the outermost layer of our body, helps to regulate our body temperature as well as maintain fluid in the cells and synthesis of vitamin D. Next comes the skeletal system. It consists of 206 bones, skull, vertebral column, collar bones, and shoulder blades. It also has rib cage, pelvic griddle, bones of hands, arms, feet, and legs. It gives structure to the body. Bones produce blood cells in the bone marrow. It provides protection for organs. Gives shapes to the body. Next comes muscular system. It consists of muscles in our body. There are three types of muscles in our body. They are skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles and smooth muscles. There are 600 muscles in our body. Muscles helps the body to move around. They do this by contracting and relaxing. They also provide stability to the body. Muscles produce heat for the body. Nervous system. It consists of brain, spinal cord, and the nerves. The nervous system has two main parts. They are the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system. It is made up of the nerves that branch off from the spinal cord and extend to all parts of the body. The nervous system transmits signals between the brain and the rest of the body, including all the internal organs. In this way, the nervous system's activity controls the ability to move, breathe, see, think and do all the works. The basic unit of the nervous system is the nerve cell or we call it as neurons. The circulatory system. The circulatory system consists of heart, blood vessels and the blood. The heart is the fist size organ that pumps blood throughout our body. It is the primary organ of our circulatory system. Our heart contains four main sections made of muscles and powered by electric pulses. Our brain and the nervous system direct our heart's function. The blood vessels. 
The blood vessels are the network of tubes through which the blood is pumped around the body. Along with the heart and the blood, the blood vessels form the cardiovascular system. The three main types of blood vessels are arteries, veins and the capillaries. Blood Blood is essential to life. Blood circulates through the body and delivers essential substances such as oxygen and nutrients to the body's cell. It has three main components, red and white blood cells, plasma and platelets. Blood has many different functions including transporting oxygen and nutrients to the lungs and the tissues. Let's know the function of the circulatory system. It circulates oxygen and removes carbon dioxide. It provides nutrients to the cells and protects the body against diseases and infection. Next comes the respiratory system. It consists of nose, pharynx, larynx, esophagus and lungs. The respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help you breathe. It includes your airways, lungs and the blood vessels. The muscles that power your lungs are also the part of the respiratory system. These parts work together to deliver oxygen to the cells throughout the body and removes waste gases like carbon dioxide from the body. Next comes the reproductive system. The organs, glands and the other structures that help an organism to reproduce are known as the reproductive system. It differs in males and females. Immune system The lymphatic system is the part of the immune system. It keeps body fluid levels in the balance and defends the body against infections. The main parts of the immune system are the white blood cells, lymph nodes, spleen, tonsils and adenoids, thymus, bone marrow, skin, mucus, membrane, stomach and bowel. Now comes the digestive system. We need food to fuel our bodies for energy, growth and repair. The digestive system converts the foods we eat into small and simplest forms like glucose, amino acid or fatty acid. The broken down food is then absorbed into the blood streams from the small intestine and the nutrients are carried to each cell in the body. It includes gastrointestinal tract and biliary system. The alimentary tract of the digestive system is composed of the mouth, esophagus, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, rectum and anus. Associated with the alimentary tract are the following accessories, organs like liver, gallbladder and pancreas. It breaks down the food into nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats and proteins. Then it is absorbed into the blood streams so the body can use them for energy, growth and repair. Excretory system The excretory system is the vital biological system that removes excess and waste products from the body to maintain homeostasis. The human excretory system organs include a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, the urinary bladder, a urethra. Kidneys are bean shaped structures located on either side of the backbone and are protected by the ribs and muscles of the back. Each human adult kidney has a length of 10 to 12 cm, a width of 5 to 7 cm, and weights around 120 to 170 kg. Kidneys filter the blood and urine in the filtrate obtained. Urine passes to the urinary bladder via ureter and is expelled out of the body. 
Organs of the excretion includes the skin, liver, large intestine, lungs and kidneys. All these parts excrete wastes from our body and together they make up the excretory system. Urinary system The urinary system is also known as the renal system or urinary tract. The purpose of the urinary system is to eliminate waste from the body, regulate blood volume and blood pressure, control levels of electrolytes and metabolites, and regulate blood pH in the form of urine. It also helps regulate blood volume and pressure. It controls the level of chemicals and salts in our body's cells and blood. The urinary system includes your kidneys, ureters, urinary bladder, and the urethra. The system filters our blood, removes waste, and excess water. This waste comes as pee. Endocrine system The endocrine system is made up of glands that make hormones. Hormones are the body's chemical messengers. They carry information and instructions from one set of cells to another. It includes hormones to control and coordinate our body's metabolism, energy level, reproduction, growth and development, and response to injury, stress and mood. The endocrine system is made up of the body's different hormones, regulates all biological processes in the body from conception through childhood and into old age, including the development of the brain and the nervous system. The growth and function of the reproductive system as well as the metabolism and the sugar level. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.